Chambogo University is a unique university with a niche in engineering, vocational education, teacher education and special needs education. Since its inception in 2003, the university has continued to produce industrious engineers, teachers and experts in special needs and vocational skills who have contributed to national development. I came to Chambogo in 2014 and that was at the time when the university was in turmoil, really. I found the university had an elaborate strategic plan and that has been our guiding document for all we are doing in the university, the strategic plan. The strategic plan has five focus areas and our achievements and focus has been uh, along those five focus areas. The first one was teaching and learning. Uh, to become a university that focuses on quality teaching, quality learning, produce quality graduates. In that area, we have reviewed, we reviewed all our academic programs and we introduced new programs which are demand-driven, focusing mainly on those programs which would give students skills and be able to create some jobs for themselves. So we have introduced a number of new programs. We introduced new master's programs in order to increase our research output. We also introduced for the first time doctorate programs, PhDs. So this university now runs a number of PhD programs. I think there are about five or six and we are developing new ones. This has been made possible because many of our people have now returned from staff development where they did their PhDs. And I'm encouraging many of these people who come back with their PhDs to use their knowledge to promote research, to promote graduate programs, masters and doctorates. Chambogo University has the mandate to credit, supervise, develop the curriculum and assess the teachers at four levels, namely early childhood, primary, secondary and tertiary teacher training. This makes Chambogo a leading university in education in Uganda. Because our programs are attractive, this has given us a big push in the number of students wanting to come to Chambogo. As I speak now, we have a student population of 33,000 students on campus. This is the largest population of students this university has ever registered. And of course that comes with a tremendous expectations on part of management to be able to deliver to the services to these students. The university has a well-established governing council, senate and other structures that ensure high quality of output and service delivery, taking into account integrity, equity and professionalism in all dealings and execution of the university's mandate. Another area we have focused on is research and knowledge generation, innovations. You may remember that this university was formed by merging three institutions, ITEC or Institute for Teacher Education in Chambogo, Uganda Polytechnic, and Uganda National Institute for Special Needs Education. In those institutions, research was not critical. It was not important because the ITEC was producing teachers. Polytechnic was producing technicians for the industry and scientists for labs. UNICEF was producing tools for use by people with uh, special needs in education. So when it became a university, we are supposed to produce knowledge, contribute to knowledge generation through research at master's levels and doctorate levels, and also through research conducted by members of staff already in employment. We have tried to recruit many people into positions so that teaching and learning can continue. However, we are still understaffed, and that is still a big challenge which we are grappling with. The university aims at equipping each student with relevant knowledge and hands-on skills required for enterprises and to excel in the world of work. The university provides a serene learning and working environment at campus with experienced and dedicated staff. So we have we introduced a competitive research scheme and we worked with our council and put in some money, close to $2 billion, for members of staff to compete, write proposals, 
compete and then they get research money so that they can be able to publish and they grow in their careers so that they can publish and what they write as contribution to knowledge can be attributed to Chambogo and improve its ranking. And we have gone through the first round where we have awarded research grants to about 22 members of staff, spending about 400 million. And there are now new applications coming in and we will we'll grant more money to more people. So we can see our research output is increasing and we also support members of staff to attend international conferences. If you have a research paper and you want to go and present it, we support you, you go and present the paper. In addition, we have an ambitious staff development program where we support members of staff to go for masters and PhDs in universities in the region and also in Europe, fully funded by the university. Another area we have focused on is institutional development. In the area of institutional development, you look at issues of policies. We have developed many policies in this university, and that has contributed to the peace and the tranquility that we see here. Because many, when we don't have inst policies in institutions, governance becomes a problem. So we have worked on the human resource policies, we have worked on uh, issues to do with promotions of members of staff, issues to do with disciplining members of staff, issues to do with the staff development policies and, and all that. The university sits on Banda Hill and is one of Uganda's largest public universities. Chambogo University came as a result of a merger of the former Uganda Polytechnic Chambogo, UPK, the Institute of Teacher Education Chambogo, ITEC, and the Uganda National Institute of Special Education, UNICE. So we have had policies which have helped us to move the university forward because we have policies that govern how the university is run. The issue of funding, we have not improved our funding base markedly because largely we are funded by government, but because of the large student numbers, our total income has increased. 2019-2020, our budget had moved to about 151 billion. So our our base, financial base is also improving. Also, we also have a resource mobilization policy, which has been approved by council, which will guide us on how we can mobilize resources for the university. But we, we must do this in line with government so that government can allow us to use the resources we develop, we generate here to develop the university. Chambogo University has six faculties and two schools with about 30,000 students on campus and about 34,000 students in affiliated institutions. The faculties and schools include Faculty of Engineering. The Faculty of Engineering in Chambogo University, first of all, is the largest faculty of engineering in Uganda. In terms of student numbers, we have over 5,000 students. In terms of programs, we have 27 undergraduate programs and three master's programs. In terms of infrastructure, we have over 60 workshops and laboratories, in addition to lecture rooms and other facilities. So we are really big in terms of that. And this is because we have a long tradition of teaching engineering. We started from way behind and that has helped us to have hands-on training for our students because of these facilities which we have and we have four departments we have the department of electrical and electronic engineering we have the department of mechanical and production engineering we have the department of civil and building engineering and have the departments of lands and architecture studies these the programs, the 27 undergraduate programs and the four graduate programs, four masters, are distributed in these departments, yes. And as I've pointed out, this year has been because we have a number of workshops. It is 60 workshops is quite a lot when you look at the area they occupy and what has what the uh, what is entailed. And the, one of the issues is that we've had most of our infrastructure renovated. That's a very big achievement. 
and the modern equipment are now in the process of being installed. We've got uh, all these renovated and the new infrastructure built. One of the biggest achievements we managed, we really took time to look at what other institutions which are training. And that led to a case where we have people who have done a diploma. For example, if you have done a diploma in engineering and you've passed very well, you can enter the degree program in the second year. Because like for the technical colleges, we, train, we tailored our first year training to the diploma program. So that when somebody has finished a diploma, he has got all the training that has been carried out by the bachelor's people in the first year. Very few people have looked at this, but in order to be a research institution, you need master's programs, and we are writing PhD and other master's program. So we've really moved. Faculty of Science. The Faculty of Science is made up of seven departments, uh, physics, mathematics, biological sciences, chemistry, computer science, sports science, and food technology. We have an enrollment of 2,480. These are the students who registered for the exams uh, for the first semester of this academic year of 2018-19. We have a number of programs in these uh, uh, departments, but I'll just mention a few new ones. We have Bachelor of Science in Oil and Gas Production. We started this course because many universities around were offering programs in oil and gas management, in oil and gas law, and we, felt, we felt we needed to bring in a course that would deal with production. Uh, you know, these days the catchword is uh, when are we having our own oil? and Chambo felt that they should come in and provide my power for the oil sector. Uh, we started uh, the oil and gas production, the Bachelor of Science in Oil and Gas Production. It's now going to have the first graduates this academic year. In December, we'll be uh, graduating the first group. And we feel by the time Uganda goes into uh, oil and gas production,
applicants. Sometimes we cannot take all of them. Uh, but I am really happy that uh, Chambogo now, uh, the, 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 the parents, the students, uh, will give Chambogo University the first choice because it is known to be a hands-on uh, university. Uh, over time, we have seen the, 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 the university increase the budget on teaching materials. And in science, you cannot do science without uh, teaching materials for practical. Uh, to me, when students come here and have hands-on, uh, they also go and market the university. So, and we really hope that we shall continuously increase on the amount that is allocated to the purchase of teaching materials. Faculty of Special Needs and Rehabilitation. Um, the Faculty of Special Needs is put in place for about three major reasons. Uh, the first reason is the training of teachers who are supposed to work with children with disabilities and other special needs. The second reason is the training of uh, community workers to be able to screen, identify, and assess children with disabilities. And the other group that we train are those who rehabilitate, those who did not manage to go to school. Persons with disabilities who didn't manage to go to school, but they need to be brought into the limelight, what we call the lifelong learning, uh, previously called adult education. Uh, the fourth thing that we do is production of materials that help to rehabilitate persons with disabilities. I should add that we do not train persons with disabilities per se, but we train persons with disabilities and other people, ordinary people like you and me, who should develop the skill to identify persons with disabilities, rehabilitate them, and empower them to be useful members of their community and uh, the country. In fact, training in special needs education is based on sustainable development goal number four of leave no one behind. We train teachers in special needs education. We train sign language interpreters. All the interpreters you see on TV have training coming out of Chambogo. It is, in fact, it's only Chambogo that trains sign language interpreters. We train community-based reputation workers. And some of our courses have a small intake because of the nature of their training. It's a one-to-one -one training. For example, the class of sign language, we would like to have um, between 25 to a maximum of 50. A class of teachers for special needs, for them to learn braille, for them to learn sign language, for them to learn all these other skills, we need between 30 to 60 teachers. There they will get very good training because mark teaching braille it is every time you have a lesson, you have to mark. In fact, it's almost like uh, working in, in, in the secondary schools where you have to mark every lesson that you teach. Sign language, one has to sign on a, on a TV screen and somebody has to voice and you have to mark all the two people before you progress. Um, so the intake for those groups are few. But I would like to say that we have a very large intake in the groups of community-based rehabilitation because they are the ones needed in supporting the work of non-governmental organizations working in the area of disability. We have a very large intake in, social just in community development and social justice. So far, we have up to 1,280 students in this faculty. The numbers are increasing. In fact, it is only one course which the numbers come down because people do not understand it. That course is on mobility and orientation. Mobility and orientation is a very important course. How to, how to push a wheelchair? People may think everybody can do it. No. You have a skill that you have to take when you are going down the slope, the skill that you have to take when you are going up the hill, the skill that you have to take when you are dealing with rough places. Those are the skills we train here. 
We train skills on how to guide a person. We have specialized areas here. We produce braille materials. If you bring us your book internationally, we are supposed to, to, to change it, what we call transcribe. We are supposed to transcribe it into braille for the use of persons with visual impairment. The constitution of the Republic of Uganda, for example, we have brailed it. Policies on disability, we have brailed it. We also produce white cane. We are in the process of starting to produce foldable white canes. White canes are those white sticks that persons with visual impairment use. It's very important that they are produced nationally so that they are cheap. Faculty of Vocational Studies, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Social Sciences, School of Management and Entrepreneurship, and Graduate School. In the area of ICT, I think Chambogo provides, is the leader in provision of ICT solutions, especially in the area of teaching and learning. We had an e-campus system which has now been upgraded to AIMS, Academic Information Management System, and the government has adopted it, and it's now running in all public universities. It was developed here, and it is maintained also from here, in partnership with the Minister of ICT and the Minister of Finance. So that, that is a plus for, for Chambogo University. And then I think strategic marketing is another area we have been, we have tried to reach out to the public, to show people what Chambogo is doing, tell people about our programs. So all in all, I think the university has grown markedly in size, in stature, and both national and international recognition, which was not the case about five, six years ago. So the, the, finally, I want to invite the senior six leavers and the diploma holders to come to Chambogo to enhance your opportunities, career opportunities, and study. We shall be here to provide the services to your satisfaction so take advantage of uh, our programs and apply to come to Chambogo.